Maintaining hand hygiene by washing hands or using hand rub is extremely important and effective to prevent the spread of the infectious diseases including COVID-19 virus, common cold, flu, diarrhea and pneumonia, so reducing the general burden of disease. If your hands are visibly dirty, then it is important to wash your hands with soap and water. And the correct technique can be found in this short video. Otherwise, hand rub can be used. Rubbing or washing for at least 20 seconds is needed to be effective. Here is a simple step-by-step -step guide for the production of 10 liter preparation of hand rub for local use as recommended by the World Health Organization. You will need four basic ingredients. Ethanol 96%, 8,333 mils or isopropyl 99.8%, 7,515 mils. Hydrogen peroxide 3%, 417 mils. Glycerol 98%, 145 mils. Water, either sterile or boiled and then cooled water. With the following materials, large containers to mix ingredients. This can be 10 litre glass or plastic bottles with screw threaded stoppers or 50 litre plastic tank or stainless steel tanks with a capacity of 80 to 100 litres wooden, plastic or metal paddles for mixing measuring cylinders and measuring jugs plastic or metal funnel 100ml plastic bottles with leak proof tops 500ml glass or plastic bottles with screw tops an alcohol meter the method Measure all the ingredients Pour the alcohol into the large container If you are going to be using the same alcohol types and containers for production you could mark the container with the level of alcohol volume needed for ease of measuring Pour in the hydrogen peroxide from the measuring cylinder Add the glycerol from the measuring cylinder Remember, glycerol is very viscous and sticks to the walls of the measuring cylinder It should therefore be rinsed with some sterile distilled or cold boiled water and then emptied into the large container. Top up the container to the 10 liters using sterile distilled or cold boiled water. If using 10 liter bottles, you may want to mark 10 liters on the container for ease of measuring. To prevent evaporation, quickly place the lid or the screw cap on to the container. Mix the solution by gently shaking. In making in larger containers, a paddle can be used before closing the lid depending on the container size. Take a sample of the hand rub and using the alcohol meter, measure the alcohol concentration of the final used solution. The accepted limits should be fixed to plus or minus 5% of the target concentration of 75-85% to 85 for ethanol. Once mixed and happy with the concentration, divide up the solution into its final containers. For example, 500 or 100 ml plastic bottles and place them in quarantine for 72 hours before use. This would allow time for any spores present in the alcohol or in the bottles to be destroyed. Label the final product with details including the following. Name of institution. WHO recommended hand rub formulation. For external use only. Avoid contact with eyes. Keep out of reach of children, date of production and batch number. Use. Apply a palmful of alcohol-based hand rub and cover all surfaces of the hand. Rub hands gently for 20 seconds until dry. Composition. Ethanol or isopropanol, glycerol and hydrogen peroxide. Flammable. Keep away from flame and heat. It's that simple. Remember. Production and storage facilities should ideally be air-conditioned or cool rooms. No naked flames or smoking should be permitted in these areas. WHO recommended hand rub formulations should not be produced in quantities exceeding 50 liters locally or in central pharmacies lacking specialized air conditioning and ventilation. Undiluted ethanol is highly flammable and may ignite at temperatures as low as 10 degrees Celsius. Thus, production facilities should directly dilute it to the above-mentioned concentration. The flash point of ethanol 80% volume by volume and of isopropyl alcohol 75% volume by volume are 17.5 degrees Celsius and 19 degrees Celsius respectively. 
National safety guidelines and local legal requirements must be adhered to to the storage of ingredients in the final product. Don't forget, hand hygiene is a key way to prevent the spread of infectious diseases and keeping our patients and health workers safe. To see experiences of Zambian pharmacists producing hand rub and nurses using it in hospitals, please go to the extended version of this video. We hope you have found this short animation valuable and are able to implement as needed. You can now hear firsthand the practicalities and challenges associated with the manufacture of alcohol hand rub and infection prevention and control. We've produced three videos with an infection prevention and controlled lead nurse and production pharmacist in Lusaka and Ndola hospitals in Zambia. Part of the Brighton Lusaka partnership and an extended project from the Commonwealth Partnerships for Antimicrobial Stewardship. Collaboration and shared learning across three continents using digital technology. If you have any questions, do contact us at admin at commonwealthpharmacy.org.